Hi, uh, we would like to show you an easy way to make an improvised remote stethoscope to check patients who are not able or who are too sick to go to the doctor. This is especially important in these days of a coronavirus outbreak. My name is Dr. Avichai Eschel. My name is uh, Guy Katznelson, I'm an electrical engineer. And together we have this idea. Mm. Since the corona outbreak, a lot of patients need to be treated at home. We need a way to check them and to listen to their lungs. Right now we don't have this kind of, uh, of uh, easy uh, gadget and we thought to make uh, this kind of uh, improvised stethoscope so the uh, family physician can listen to their lungs from remote, from afar. Our uh, solution is uh, easy. So all the, all the, the equipment together that we use here costs no more than uh, 10 US dollars. Um, this is the price that we talk about. Okay, so the solution is based on an uh, inexpensive uh, stethoscope, um, cellular headphones, and a bit of tape and scissors. That's all what we need here. So we'll take the uh, stethoscope and we'll measure a distance about uh, four fingers and then we'll cut the uh, tube and we'll, we'll be left with this uh, part of the stethoscope. Then we'll take, we'll look for the place that uh, the microphone is located and we'll open it delicately uh, and we'll reach for the microphone. So we'll, We'll look for the microphone, which is inside here. Uh, you can recognize the microphone by looking uh, at looking for a, a tube uh, around this size with a bit of uh, black material on top. And next step, what next step? What we'll take is we'll put the microphone inside the tube. facing towards the uh, stethoscope end and then we'll take the tape and we'll tide, tighten all the parts together so no force will tear them apart. Another important thing is to make sure that uh, the microphone will not move inside the tube so we'll not have any undesired noises and also we'll close the, uh, the side of the uh, microphone with a bit of tape so no extra noise will uh, get inside. So all the components are, all the remote uh, stethoscope is basically what you see in this image here. Okay. Make sure that the uh, headset that you uh, take for this purpose will have also a microphone and not only speakers. Now we come to the usage of the remote stethoscope. Um, it's very straightforward. You just need to plug in the uh, earphones in the earphone jack. If you don't have an earphone jack, like in the new iPhones, you can have a, an adapter. An adapter. Uh, next, we make a WhatsApp video call to the doctor. At first, we put the earphones inside our ears and we talk to the doctor. After uh, the beginning of the uh, conversation, uh, we need to get to the, um, to the physical examination. And in this stage, the doctor can see how we are uh, using the stethoscope and he will um, direct us where to put it and how to breathe. And he can hear what the stethoscope is hearing right now. He will tell me to breathe in and put the stethoscope uh, left, to, the, to put the stethoscope uh, right, up or lower, to the other side, breathe in and 
Afterwards, he will also direct me how to um, how to ascolt, how to hear the lungs from the back. Uh, if I have a problem putting the stethoscope uh, from the back, I may need another person to help me uh, with the uh, physical examination of the back. In this stage, he might need to hear the doctor uh, direct him and then he will need to put the earphone in his ear to hear the directions. Uh, afterwards, we finish the physical examination and I can talk to the doctor and finish the conversation and have uh, directions on how to continue and what uh, kind of uh, medication to get. And we have used the remote stethoscope. Okay. The doctor can hear the lungs well from what we have seen through the WhatsApp video call. Um, the heart sounds he can hear less well and we might need a better uh, audio um, audio application to get him to hear the heart sounds better. I think that uh, since we are talking now about the coronavirus outbreak we need um, mostly to hear the lungs and I think that this kind of uh, system can can do this can do it well and we can hear our uh, the lungs well from uh, from afar. This system is inexpensive and easy to use and it can lead to a better, medica me better medicine from a remote and we can um, maybe have better safety for our doctors and for our patients. Thank you. Thank you.